In this demonstration, you will learn how to convert a Spells Ray file source to a surface source. This process requires simulating with the Ray file once. Create an irradiance sensor a short distance in front of last visible surface, for example 0.1 mm. For visible wavelength only, type should be set to photometric. For UV, IR wavelength type should be set to radiometric. Create an intensity sensor at the same location of the irradiance sensor. To capture wavelength dependency, type should be set to spectral. Intensity sensor should be conoscopic with 90 degrees angle. A higher resolution sampling is used to create more accurate conversion. Set the wavelength sampling to include the desired wavelengths. Create a direct simulation using the ray file source and the two created sensors. Run the simulation and use all the rays available in the ray file source. For high-end visualizations, it can be necessary to convert a ray file with limited number of rays into a surface source. Create a surface source using irradiance and intensity sensors outputs as inputs. Its flux can be found in the datasheet or captured via simulation. These two outputs can be grabbed from the SPELS output files folder. Please use the same origin X and Y axis as used for the sensors. This source is used for the final simulation. To use this LED, set up your desired simulation using this surface source, your geometries and the desired sensors. For any inverse simulation, a ray file must be converted into a surface source. This concludes this demonstration of how to convert a ray file source to a surface source.